to the Von Schiller family experience. I'm in Anaheim, California at the Anaheim RV Park. Came down here for work. I uh, wanted to stay close to the Anaheim Convention Center and a lot of the hotels around here are about $400 a night during convention time. So I decided to bring the RV down and check out this RV park, see if I want to stay here with the family and kids and go to Disneyland. Uh, it's right around 100 bucks a night, so a little, a little pricey for an RV park, but location, 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 it's right, right around the corner from Disneyland. They do have a shuttle that comes. Um, I believe the shuttle's $5, so you can take a shuttle to and from uh, Disneyland, although I just took Uber over to the Anaheim Convention, Convention Center, although um, I didn't take Uber, I actually took a Lyft, and it was right around five or six dollars over to the Anaheim Convention Center. So you could take Lyft or Uber for probably six to eight bucks, um, or you can take the, uh, the shuttle. So the RV Park uh, has a great pull-in spot just off the freeway. It's pretty easy to get in and out of. Um, they can pull in right here behind me and check in so there's plenty of room for that for you and your RV. I got in about 8 o'clock at night. The office was closed but they did have uh, someone here to check me in, give me my paperwork that was waiting in a vehicle that's wrapped with their logo and everything on it. So he hopped out, took good care of me, found my spot, got all checked in. So I'm going to kind of go around the RV park here and check it out and possibly fly the drone. A lot of helicopters flying over, so. But uh, I'm not not big on RV parks usually. It's I don't like being so close to everybody, but it is what it is, and it's been a good stay. I've been here for three days now. I'm going to be heading out here in about an hour, but wanted to do a little review on the park. Let you guys know what I think. All right, guys. Well, just before 10 a.m., woke up a little late, went out last night, and I'm going to run in here and get my free. What do I get? I get a free, um, I think a free muffin or something here. Complimentary muffin, coffee, and newspaper. I'm just gonna give me a muffin. So it's almost 10 a.m. They serve them between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Well, I got my muffin. I'm back at the RV and Otis Spunkenmeyer, just a nice little blueberry muffin. So, oh wait, I just remembered. I don't think I can have blueberries. Blackberries, blueberries. Just found out I was allergic to that stuff. So anyways, they do have nice muffins, but I'm not gonna eat it because I just found out I was allergic to blueberries. Oh well, looks pretty good. And the RV park does have a nice pool and hot tub as you can see right behind me. I didn't get a chance to take advantage of this, although the hot tub sounds pretty uh, pretty relaxing, but they do have a nice hot tub and pool for you here. Some of the spots are right here on the road and they did email me when I booked it that these spots were right on the road and asked me if I wanted to upgrade to one of the inner spots. And so I went for it. I could see where these spots, um, you're right across from a school and the kids are out playing right now, so you can't hear them. It's not, you know, it's not bothersome or anything, but I can see where some people might feel it is, but some people just complain about everything. So these spots are right on the road, so if you want a little bit more privacy from the road, get some of the inner spots.
So across from me, you have the pull-through spots, which a lot of the big Class A's are over there. Uh, I have a back-end spot. They're all about the same. I mean, the pull-throughs are a little bit wider. Of course, you've got big Class A's that have bigger slide-outs. Mine's a back-end. It was really easy to back-end. All the utilities are nice and close, easy to get to. They've got uh, water spigot, you know, and your sewer drop and your power. So I'm a 30 amp, that was no problem. So all the standard things that an RV park should have. They do have bathrooms and showers, although I didn't check those out. It is right across from me. Um, I just used my house, you know, my uh, RV shower and a uh, little bit of grass around and trees. So it's real nice. It's not just a big concrete parking lot with RVs. So pretty nice, not too bad.